Time to head over to the kitchen. We love Fridays and lunch with ABC7 Culinary Director Chef Judy Gallagher. Judy, what are you cooking? A lot of people are home today. They might want to uh, cook something up for the family. That's why I came in instead of going on a live remote. I'm here for you. I'm making a simple parpadelli pasta, but I'm using roasted butternut squash to get that flavor of, of fall in and it's some great veal scallopini. And I actually had it in my freezer, so I picked them up at Geyer's, and that's a great thing to leave in your freezer so you can whip up a dish. So when you come back, we are going to start whipping up our dish with cream, a little Parmesan cheese, and all sorts of goodness. I'll be back in a few minutes to get cooking. Right now, I'll start roasting that butternut squash. Delicious veal scallopini with some roasted butternut squash. Now the squash is in the oven. Little olive oil, salt and pepper, sage and thyme, and that's roasting away. We'll be done soon. What I do is I buy these packages of the veal in at Geyer's Sausage Kitchen right in the freezer section and I keep some in my freezer just so when I'm ready to make this dish I have it and it is wonderful. Now I have regular all-purpose flour give it a shake off dip it in. I also have a little truffle salt from St. Armand's Spice and Tea Exchange and I love the truffle salt and it makes a great gift for the foodie in your life if you're starting to think about the holidays already. So we're going to just gently dip it in there, just a little shake, a little dry thyme on it is also very good. I'm going to add just a smidgen more oil to this pan and we're just going to brown these for a little bit, get them nice and flavorful with that delicious truffle salt. So one more to go. Now three of these is more than enough for four people because we can cut the veal into strips. Okay, so there we go. And this is going to cook pretty quickly. Now since we seasoned the veal in the flour, we don't have to do too much more seasoning. So I'm just going to bring over the black pepper and get that on there. And then I'm going to put in a dot of butter. I'm going to watch this pan too and I'm going to keep an eye to make sure. Let's do about, oh there we go, about a half a tablespoon. And I just want to make sure that the veal is almost ready to turn before I add the butter so it doesn't brown. Great tip is to make sure you, if you want the, the butter to cook but not to burn is add olive oil to the butter itself and a little bit will hold it to a higher heat temperature. Now we have cremini and portobello mushrooms so we'll start to saute those and definitely want to get some butter into that because this is one of those dishes. I'm going to rename it um, as the John Scalzi Weatherman of the Day dish because it's total comfort food here. It's just really great. We've got our parpadelli pasta. I'm going to turn the veal and I'm going to saute those mushrooms and when I come back we're going to finish it off with a really great sauce. Oh, it's so good. It's comfort in a pan. Now we're going to deglaze the pan a little bit with some Madeira wine. And I'll tell you, a bottle of Madeira wine lasts a long time if you keep that cork in it, just to be able to enjoy it. Now as that starts to melt down, we get all those flavors in the pan marrying. We're going to make a sauce similar to an Alfredo. So let's melt that down, the butter, and then let's add a little half and half. Now over here with the mushrooms, I'm going to turn the pan off and I'm just going to add about two cups of organic baby spinach and just let that simmer down. Now on the butternut squash, I can't remember if I told you this or not, but if you go to Yoder's Produce Market, they sell it in containers already peeled and cut. That is so worth spending a little bit more, let me tell you, because it is not easy to peel a couple butternut squash. It gets really tiring on the hands. Now just to bring up the flavor a teeny bit, let's give this just a pinch of crushed red pepper. And just honestly, just a couple flakes is going to bring up that flavor. Now when you start to see on the outer edge of the pan, you see how this is starting to bubble? That's where we know we're ready to start adding some cheese. Okay, and I left a little half and half still to go in case I need it, but if I don't, that's even better. So we're going to let that kind of saute around a little bit and I'm going to start to add the pasta. Parpadelli pasta, get a good brand. It's really important that you use, a, if you're going to use dry, something like Cipriani's or if you're going to use fresh, go over to Pepperonata Pasta and pick that up tomorrow. You can go to the farmer's market. It'll be a beautiful day tomorrow morning downtown Sarasota and you can get their pasta. So wow, this is a really nice Madeira cream sauce. And so now what we'll do 
is we'll start to add that roasted butternut squash. There we go. And as you can see, the scallopini, the veal scallopini is out of the pan and it's all coated and browned and ready to go. That's gonna go on top of the pasta. So when I come back, I think John Scully has deserved this comfort dish for lunch, don't you? John totally Scully. delicious. John Scalzi, yeah. you so deserve this. You have totally worked good. so hard for us, uh, as you always uh, do, in keeping mm. us safe and informed. So mm. I can't think of anything better than sautéed veal tenderloin with oh. Madeira, almost like a Madeira Alfredo sauce, mm -hmm. and some parpadelli, and roasted butternut squash. Uh. So your wife cannot say that we're not healthy because it has sautéed mushrooms, the squash, and some spinach in it. Squash but, is great in there, you know? It isn't. Squash yeah, it really is, is made to go with pasta, yeah. I think. I, yeah. You know, it, it is. I, the first time I had it in pasta, I thought, no, that's kind of unusual. I thought it was cantaloupe, actually. That, yeah. And it's so good. It tastes so great. Especially so. roasted. It really brings mm. out that flavor with mm -hmm. the herbs. Mm -hmm. So you keep eating. I'll let them know that you can get this <laughs> recipe by going on mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining page. You'll get this recipe videos, lots of different information about our great restaurant partners that are up there. So you can click on them and just find their link and they'll tell you about wine dinners, upcoming tasting events, and specials that are happening all around the Suncoast that have deal. to do with food. We're getting into a little bit of the fall flavors now. Oh, yeah, we? we so are. I'm, I'm there. I'm looking forward to that. that Work on that great. weather temperature. Bring it down. Oh, we are a little bit this weekend. A Good. Little, little teeny tiny bit. Good. Rebecca?